Okay, a lot of people have either kind of a basic wax injector like I have where you can pump it and you can increase the pressure for injecting. They have some that, uh, that are hooked up to oxygen tanks or a compressor and it basically does the same thing as this. Uh, you have people that actually have more elaborate systems where you can actually, when you before you inject, it vacuums the wax. So it sucks out the air before you inject your wax. Now most people just learning have a basic system. So if you have a basic system, there's things when it comes to injecting uh, that you need to know. And so sometimes when you make a mold, it needs to be powdered. So I take like a, an old sock and it's got talc in it. Don't breathe this in. Have ventilation or, or a dust mask. Do it outside. But you would want to powder both sides, blow it off, uh, and then put the two pieces together like this. For me, I like to have one half of the mold is the top, the other half is the bottom, and I always, when I inject it, I have the top part on the top. So you have to have a rigid plate on both sides like that. You would then take this and hold it in your hands tightly, or they also make special mold uh, clamp devices that you can buy if you don't have the hand strength. Or if you're in a hurry and you don't want to stand and hold it. And I'll show you what I mean. So you would hold this together. You'd put it over the nozzle. And you'd inject. Now I like to wait about 10 seconds. So I'll wait here and I'll wait here. And I'll usually count to 10. And then I'll pull it back. At this point, you want to keep holding this together. And I'm going to show you once you release it. You can start to see that it'll start to separate. And you don't want that. You want, after you've injected this wax, you want it to harden uh, with the two sides fully compact together. Now, if you have a clamp, you don't have to worry about doing this. Uh, I've got a clamp. I don't like it. Somebody gave it to me. But they make better ones. So you hold it together. And then when you're pretty sure it's, it is uh, starting to solidify, and you can tell that by looking at, at the inside of here, if it's still molten looking on the inside, then it hasn't fully hardened. But once this is all hard, uh, at that point you can pretty much set that down. Now there's also, like I said, there's different types of molds. Uh, if I'm going to do a mold like this one, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if there's an obstruction there. And if it looks like there is, I'm going to pop that out, clean it up. I'm going to look in my mold, make sure there's no little bits of wax that got stuck in there from, from the last time. This one has a little piece right there. I'm going to clean that out. Uh, this has been powdered recently. I don't need to powder it again. So I'm going to fit it together. I'm going to look where it says top. Now I have this type of uh, way to, to back both sides. They're just aluminum plates. I'm going to hold that together. Sometimes these sit off center. Or they sit crooked because whoever cut the mold didn't cut it well. So you want to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. And again, you would inject it. Count up to 10. You can take it back and you'd hold it together for a while. Um, let's see, while I'm holding this, you could have really big molds. In, in that case, I would use bigger plates like this. Uh, you could use pieces of wood. Anything that's rigid, 
and flat and you can hold it together will work fine. I've even got I've got molds that are like this where it injects through the top. I don't know where the other part is, but and uh I mean there's just all different ways to make molds. Some molds that are made are really elaborate. And so like this one which ends up being this big kind of fancy ring, I've done it in such a way that it it ha it has a split mark in the center on both sides and it allows me to pull out the center of the ring first and then it's easy to free it up and it causes little stress to the wax. Uh, you want to, you know, mold making is like an art. So you want to be able to do it in such a way that when you go to remove your wax, uh, it causes as little stress to it as possible, especially if it's fragile. If you have a fragile wax, and you go to remove it, you can easily break it. So everything you do needs to be cut in such a way that it's um, as non-stressful to the wax as possible. Let's see, like here's one, I got the top. And so I'm going to open this at this side. I can pull out the inside of the ring. Then I would free this up And I can pull out my, I can pull out my wax. And what you want to do is when you cut these two, you want to have it so that the parting seam does not show up on the surface of your wax. So you're going to want to have it along the edge somewhere, uh, so that what happens is after you cast it, you want to have as less work as possible, and you don't want to have you know, a seam sticking out down uh, the center of your ring. This actually does have a seam, so I didn't cut this too well, but but it works okay. Um, I think that is about it. When somebody asks you, did you vacuum your mold? Well, that means you have a better system than this, and you actually vacuumed out the the mold first, and then you injected it. Uh, like I said earlier, most people just have a very simple system like this. So I think at this point, I've covered about everything. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, one Okay, one other thing. Most of the wax you buy, it comes in little flakes. Uh, that's not what this is, but it comes in little flakes. And it says right on the package what temperature you want to set the injector at. Uh, I like to, the wax I get is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can convert that to Celsius, but, so I set this so it lands right on 160. That's important. If, if the wax you're using uh, is a low temperature wax and you set it too high, it's going to boil and you're going to have a lot of problems with getting a good injection. And if it's if you have it set too low, it's not going to inject out and you're not going to fill your fill your mold. So now I think that's it. All right. Thank you.